Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seekers of all ages, Costa Chal here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a very exciting theme park news update, where today we're going to be talking about Blackpool Central development, because the plans have been given the go-ahead, work will start on the site as soon as possible, and it's going to be very exciting to see this development come off the ground. You can bet your lucky backsides I'll be there on the opening day in a year or two, whenever this thing opens, uh, to be there for the opening day of the Blackpool Central Indoor Theme Park and Entertainment Centre. So, before we get started guys, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, click that case bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Uh, if you're new around here, please subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. We're on the road to 2,600 subscribers now. We're only about 20, 20 or so away uh, from 2,600. We're trying to get to 3,000 by the end of the year. If not, 4,000 would be amazing. Uh, we're also trying to get to 1 million views, which for a theme park news channel is incredible. Uh, so please keep viewing the old stuff, keep viewing the new stuff when it comes out, and let's get the view count up. Also, guys, check the description down below for social media links, my social media links, and the Google Forms link, where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas. And for now, guys, let's have a look at exactly what's gone on with the news from the Blackpool Gazette, with the link in the description down below for you to check out the article for yourselves on the Blackpool Central development. So work will begin early next year on the £300 million Blackpool Central Leisure Development after councillors unanimously backed plans to transform the site of the former Central Station. The council's planning committee approved a hybrid application, including outlined permission to build three indoor theme parks a 200 room hotel plus bars, restaurants and outdoor entertainment space. Fourth permission was granted to convert the upgrade buildings on Central Drive including the King Edward Cinema, King Edward Pub and King Edward Apartments into holiday accommodation, restaurants and bars as part of a new heritage quarter. A 1,306 space 7 storey car park was also approved which would be the first element of the scheme by Nikal Limited and Media Invest Entertainment. The Heritage Quarter is set to be built by Spring 2024 with further phases not operational until Spring or Summer 2025 and the full development expected to take 10 years to complete. A report to the committee said the council had spent well over 20 years attempting to attract investment, facilitate site assembly and deliver new development on the site to drive its wider region generation goals. The former Central Station closed back in 1964 and has since been used as a car park. Previous attempts to develop the site, including planned applications in 2001 and 2006, had failed. The report out of the current application meant there was now a greater likelihood than ever before the redevelopment on the site on a scale of strategic significance could take place. We do have a statement from the Chief Executive of Nikal Limited, Richard Fee, who says this is a key moment for levelling up Blackpool's visitor economy post-Covid. Blackpool Central will help transform and future-proof the town's tourism offer and last night's approval as an important step forward in our journey. One very important piece of information from the article though is the fact that Blackpool said Pleasure Beach were actually against this proposal and trying to stop it from happening. However, everything's going ahead and work will take place early next year to start constructing on the Blackpool Central development. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill six of all ages. That is speaking about the Blackpool Central development. This is a brand new, uh, brand new big day for Blackpool and for Blackpool Central as well. Uh, this brand new development opening um, down the line in, in phases, the Heritage Court by 2024, further phases by 2025, the full 10 years to complete the whole thing. And, um, oh, this is, oh, I'm just so excited for this. I'm really excited for this. Um, like I said, you can bet your lucky backsides I'll be down there in Blackpool for the opening day of this. I really can't wait for this. Uh, now, obviously, it's a very interesting story, this development. We first spoke about it uh, a couple of years ago when the channel was first starting out. In fact, let me put a little clip up of exactly what I said about this development two years ago. Take it away, old coaster chow. I do feel as if there's so much potential off this already from what we know so far. The Flying Theatre, I love these concepts. I saw Volaterium at Europa Park, I love these concepts. Um, Advanced VR, I'm not too sure about. I mean, there's been a lot of criticism and a lot of positive with VR, mainly criticism from the Alton Towers point of view. 
but mainly positive from the Europa Park point of view when they put VR on the Alpen Express. So as you can see there, that's what I said about two years ago, and again, I just love everything about this development. The Chariot of the Gods IP, again, that's been dropped, you know, for numerous reasons. Um, and I feel like Blackpool Central will really start building this up now. They're going to really start uh, constructing this from the ground, really getting this up and up and up as soon as possible. And like I said, work is expected to take place early next year. It would be amazing to do construction updates regularly from the site of Blackpool Central over this period of time. Because there you can see how the site's changed, but also how the channel's changed in covering this. So, obviously, it'd be really nice to do that. And if anyone from the Blackpool Central Development is watching this, I'll be gladly able to offer my services. Uh, but I, I just really love the look of this, co uh, this coaster. There is going to be a coaster involved. <laughs> There's numerous coasters involved. But, no, I think the Blackpool Central Development is going to be a wonderful piece of entertainment complex machinery uh, taking place in Blackpool. And uh, Blackpool Council really behind this development, really behind this. Yes, Blackpool Pleasure Beach have their doubts about this, and they're against this development for numerous reasons. For competition, well, it was reported by the Blackpool Gazette. There's competition involved. You know, they feel like it could uh, dampen the future success of the Pleasure Beach. In my opinion, I don't think so. I think Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I think Blackpool Council said this in quotations from the Blackpool Gazette article that Pleasure Beach will always be the main attraction for Blackpool. It will always be the main attraction that will attract guests to Blackpool. Blackpool Central will just offer another attraction to Blackpool. I think it's just another attraction, and it's another significant attraction. It won't take anything away from the Pleasure Beach, in my opinion. I think it will just bring more people to Blackpool with the addition of the Blackpool Central development alongside Blackpool Pleasure Beach. And Pleasure Beach, I'm sure, will keep adding new rides in as soon as possible. But it's going to take, um, it, it, it had to take another attraction to bring the guests back to Blackpool, especially post-Covid. And I think if you keep the Pleasure Beach and see what they're adding, and then you bring in this Blackpool Central development over the next few years, it's going, and the Heritage Quarter as well, and the future phases in 2025, etc. It's going to bring even more people on. So from a Pleasure Beach point of view, I don't see it as competition. I see it as support for the whole Blackpool area. So that's just my view on the matter from Pleasure Beach's side of things. But overall, oh boy, I'm so excited for this. Now, that is going to be it for this video, guys. Make sure you do like the video if you loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Subscribe if you are new around here. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coast life. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a Blackpool-tastic day. Congrats, Blackpool. Hopefully, we get that kind of thing here in Doncaster. I'm just this day, I got out of bed. I looked out of the big blue window and saw the sun in the sky. So I checked out of my room, met my friends, walked to the park and got my